Hello, my students, everyone. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about conditionals, tiles. Zero conditional. Zero conditional sentence consists of two clauses, and if clause and a main clause the structure, if plus present simple tense. The result is present simple tense. They are the two state general rules to generalize or give facts, to talk about something which is temporarily true or always true. For example, if you heat water to 100 degrees, it boils. If the if clause comes first, a comma is usually used. But if the if clause comes second, there is no need for a comma. For example, water boils if you heat it to 100 degrees. Note, uh, we can use other tenses as present continuous can be used. For example, if, you muscle, if your muscle hurts, you are probably doing much exercise. First conditional. The first conditional is used to speculate about the future consequences or a specific event. In this case, the verb is the second part of the sentence, is preceded by will. The condition is if plus present simple tense. The result is will plus infinitive verb. For example, if they offer a good price, we will buy the whole consignment. You can use my present tense. You can use any present tense in the if clause. And any future tense in the other clause. For example, I will have finished in an hour if you don't disturb, disturb me. If you are not going, I'm not going to go either. Common mistakes. Wouldn't you the future in the if part of sentence? I'm flying to the States tonight. I'll give you a drink if I can find a phone. The speaker is not sure if he will be able to find a phone or not. In a sentence with an F clause, we can use the imperative or other model verbs instead of will plus infinitive. For example, if you hear from Suzanne today, till here to ring me. If the traffic is bad, I may get home late. The first conditional is usually used in the following cases. Contingency plans considering events that may or may not occur. For example, if I feel too excited to sleep, I will try reading one of our reports. We also use conditional first conditional with company forecast degrees of uh, certainty or certainty projects planning. Second conditional. The second conditional can be used to refer to less probable or impossible situations. The verb in the second part is preceded by would, should, could, might, plus infinitive verb. The if clause can come in the first part of the sentence, or the second. Structure. If clause, if plus past tense, and the result is would plus infinitive verb. For example, if I knew here number, I would send here a fax, or I would send here a fax if I knew here number. Common mistake. Wouldn't use would in the if part of the sentence. If these machines were not so expensive, we would buy them. If we hire a lawyer, we would recover our debts easily. If I lost my job tomorrow, I would move to London to find the same kind of job. The first two sentences refer to the present situation, or to a present situation and imagining a situation that is different from the really, our reality. In the third, we are talking about the possible event in the future, but using second conditional, we make it clear that we don't really think it will happen. The second conditional is usually used in the following cases, stating preferences, supposing, if I were 10 years younger, I would take the job, unusual circumstances. I would 
or might join the army if there was a war. Note, if we think that a future event is reasonably likely, we use first conditional. If we are talking about an event that is unlikely or impossible, we use the second condition. Thank you and goodbye.